are you a family nurse practitioner? But thinking about making that switch to become a psychiatric nurse practitioner? Well, you're in luck. In today's video, we're gonna have a special interview with a former family nurse practitioner that actually made the switch to becoming a psychiatric nurse practitioner. So stay tuned. Welcome back, Psych Dude family. It's the Psych Dude, back again with another video. If you are new to this channel, I'm the Psych Dude. I'm a board certified psychiatric mental health nurse practitioner. And in this channel, I go over several different subjects to educate the public about improving mental health, videos on psychiatric nurse practitioners, and ways to improve your overall lifestyle. I hope you guys truly enjoy this video. Stay tuned. What's going on everyone? It's the Psych Dude. So we have a special guest today. Here's Ed. So he formerly was a family nurse practitioner that actually made the switch to becoming a psych nurse practitioner. I am gonna ask him a few questions um, to reasons why he actually switched so he can give you a better input on the reason why he did it. Okay, so, so tell me a little bit about yourself and your background. Hello everyone, again, I'm Ed. Uh, okay, my background is I, I am a family nurse practitioner, graduated uh, eons ago. I graduated in 2003 as a family nurse practitioner and then I worked in internal medicine for, um, I don't know, for a couple of years or so and then I landed a job as a psych NP in, uh, in, in a clinic where they don't really need you to be a psych NP. Um, we practice in California, you don't really need to be uh, uh, certified as a psych NP, so I work as a family NP uh, in a psychiatric arena uh, for quite some time. I was uh, actually, I worked as a psych NP for uh, 13 plus years. And then, so what made you want to switch from becoming an FNP to a psych NP if you were already in that role? Well, I decided that uh, I wanted to be, I want to work, I, I want to go to into psychiatry because a lot of my patients that I see in the inter in internal medicine, there's a lot of psych component to it. Uh, so I decided, hey, I should be more legit and go back to school. Uh, as a psychiatric NP, which I did. I acquired my postmasters as a psych NP, and I just nice. wanna gra I graduated last year. Hey. Perfect. So I do have a lot of uh, students asking me, like, should I do a dual certification in both family nurse practitioner and psych nurse practitioner? What would you have to say to them? Well, I think, first of all, I. I I would, if you want to become a nurse practitioner right away, and uh, and if you've been uh, exposed to psychiatry as an uh, as a registered nurse and you liked it, I recommend recommend that you go straight and apply for to a psychiatric nurse practitioner program. I was uh, my background is actually emergency room nurse. Uh, I never thought that I would be going into psychiatry, so I went to family thinking that I'm going to be working in a more general internal medicine uh, area. Uh, but I come, I found out uh, during my practice as an uh, as an uh, FNP that I see a lot of psych uh, psych patients. Well, a lot of the patients who have medical issue issues that tend to have some psych component to it. So. I decided, hey, um, I want to you know, go go back to school and get your psych NP. So I would recommend if you want to become a psych NP uh, and you have a background in, background in in psychiatry and you like what you're doing, I suggest that you should go straight and apply for psych NP instead of going from family and then work for a, a couple of years or so and then apply to psych NP. So it'll just it'll help you with your with money and cost and time and all that good stuff. Definitely, definitely. That's what I did. I went straight to Psych NP. I did definitely want to do family nurse practitioner in the beginning because it was generalized, but I realized that I do love psych and so I just went down that path instead. Which brings us to our next question. What do you like more about becoming a Psych NP compared to an FNP? I'm the type of person that I love to talk. 
and uh, I come, I found, uh, I mean, working in psychiatry, you were just a lot of talking. You're constantly talking, and I love that. You learn about the patient's uh, problems, uh, with their family, and everything. So I love that uh, that uh, that um, component to it. And also on top of that, I you know since I have a good foundation in internal medicine, I, I you know I married FNP and psychiatry, which is a you know it's, it's a, a great a great combination for me. Lucky guy, lucky guy. Any advice for current FNPs wanting to switch into psych? I think that you should go into uh, into this field if your heart is into it. I don't think you should be going into uh, into uh, this field, psych NP or any type of career, and thinking you're just going for the money. Because remember, you're going to be doing this for the rest of your life, and if your if your goal is to make money. You're going to be miserable doing this job, and it's going to show. It's going to show to your patients that you don't really care about them, and you're just here to do what about to do and get money. So my biggest suggestion is for you to go into this field. You really need to be in love with this career. You know, you just don't want to do it because. Hey, uh, I'll be making more money, so therefore I'm gonna go into psychiatry. So you really need to say, well, this is my calling. I'm gonna be a psych NP, and you know, yes. Nice. So that's pretty much all we got today. Again, guys, follow me on YouTube, Instagram at the Psych Dude, and thanks Ed for coming out today. Of course. And, uh, answering a lot of my questions, especially from someone that's a family nurse practitioner before that became a psych nurse practitioner because I do get a lot of those questions on pretty much a daily basis on my Instagram asking about that. So, well, stay tuned, guys. We're going to come out with more videos. And thanks, Ed. Appreciate it. Thank you.